Hi there, my name is Steve Jaguer, and in this video I'm going to be introducing you to an awesome new open source project by Bridge Crew called Your. Let's go. Yes, you did hear me correctly. It is called Your, spelled Y-O-R. I'm called Steve Jaguer. I am a developer advocate for Bridge Crew. Now, if you're wondering what Your does, we can take a real quick look at it here. Automated infrastructure as code, tag, and trace. What does that mean? Well, in slightly more words, automatically tags infrastructure as code resources with ownership details, unique code cloud IDs, and custom tags for traceability and auditability. Now, what does that mean for you? It does mean that if you are looking to trace resources that are misconfigured or showing anomalous behavior for whatever reason from runtime in AWS, for example, back to an original commit, this can be enabled with your but there are a lot of reasons why you would want to be tagging resources in infrastructure as code. It could be for cost reasons. It could be for access control. There's a lot of reasons why, and all of the different cloud platforms have their best practice documents showing how you can do that. So let's take a closer look again, and let's switch over to the GitHub repo so we can see where we might start. Now, what I like about the first line here is, Yours is an open source tool that helps add informative and consistent tags. Now that might answer the second question you may have, which would be, I already tagged my resources. How is this any better? How is it different? Consistent is the word that I'd like to emphasize there. Ensuring that you have consistent tagging or strategic tagging even means that you can use that tagging and know what you're looking for further down the line at runtime. In fact, not only does it enable tracing back to commit, it can also enrich policy engines for security. So once we know what we're looking for, we can make better things happen. Now, how do I do that in an automated sense? Well, let's get started. Now I could use this as a GitHub action, but I think I'm gonna do that in another video. What I'm gonna do is when I'm testing things out locally, I just like to run them on my own computer and that's what I'm gonna do. So if I roll down here, I can see that to install this, I need to run brew tap, Bridge crew out. So that's easy enough. I have my VS code open right here. I've even got some Terraform ready and waiting loaded. So let's do that. I assume that'll only take a second. So let's just go back and grab this next command so we can install your. Yep, it's already done. That's nice. Fantastic. So you can see I've got loaded up here uh, some, some of the TerraGoat project essentially, which was intentionally misconfigured Terraform, also made by Bridge crew. Uh, I have been running the Chekhov plugin. You can see the results there, and I am ready. I'm ready to take this up with your and and run my Terraform apply. So while that's building, let's go back over here and see what I can do once it's installed. All right. Well, it looks pretty straightforward. I don't need to initialize anything. I could just run your tag, specify the directory, and I've got some tagging. Okay. Uh, I'm curious about what tags I'm going to be applying. It looks like I can create my own tags with your simple tags, and I've done that already. I'd also like to list the tags. There appears to be a concept of tag groups, and it looks like, yeah, I would expect to be able to skip certain tags or skip certain directories. So it seems pretty straightforward out of the box. So what I'll do right away is list the tags that are available, and I should be able to hopefully see the tag groups. So I've come back here. I'm all good. Let's clear that out so I can get a better look. I'm going to run your, let's just do list tags and see what we got going on. Okay. So I've got tags that are extracted from Git. So the organization, repo file, commit, etc. I've got the simple tag I set up using an environment variable, specifying my cost center, which is, I think is important. And I've got the your trace. Now I'll show you what your trace is in just a moment, but I think I'm ready to tag my resources. So let's give that a shot. I'm just going to type your tag. I saw earlier that dash D was the short form for dash dash directory and I'm lazy. So I'm just going to do dash D dot. That's probably the shortest command I can do. Well, that was quick. There we go. You see that changed in VS code and below here, I can see all of the tags that were applied. So let me just quickly roll up and take a look at the output. Now it's worth noticing, noting that I saw I can have my output in JSON, but I left it in the default console. I can see all the different 
resources. I can see the, the files within which they are contained and all the tags that were applied. Okay, that's just a big list of what it did, which is great. Uh, in this specific case, I can look at one instance here in my S3 bucket. And I can see the tags I already had are there. I can see the name, the environment, but I can see the new one. I can see the cost center now is set to bridge crew, BC. I can also see get commit, the file name, last committed, last modified. Yeah, okay, this looks pretty good. And there's my your trace. Now, if you're wondering what your trace, I haven't quite explained that yet. Although I do have the commit ID here, and I could trace back to the commit, this might not be the only thing that was part of that commit. What I'd like to know is what is the exact resource within the commit? And that's what your trace does for me. It gives me that additional granularity that I need. So I quite like that that's there. And we're gonna show how easy that is to use in a moment. Okay, so this all looks good. And we can actually see that all these files were modified over here. What I might do now is I might just run a, if I can spell Terra, Terraform apply, and you know away we go but i've already done that to save time i didn't save too much time my spelling was atrocious there so we're going to come back over here we're going to jump straight to the aws management console and there's a few different ways i can look at this you know there's a hundred different ways probably i could go to the resource groups tag editor um, but i'm going to go to config and I am going to look for, I think, non-compliant resources because it's, I'm pretty sure I've got some non-compliant resources in there, probably mostly. All right, 36 non-compliant resources. Uh, it's gonna pull up all of them, but I'm gonna narrow this down to EC2 instances. There we go. Try and be a little bit more precise. And I'm just gonna grab the first one. Okay. So let me roll this back down and take a look at its tags just down here. And you can see all of those familiar tags are there now, which is great. I've got the git commit, which is what I want. I can see the people who are involved. I can see the project. Very good. Now what I'm gonna do at first is I'm gonna grab this git commit. And now I'm gonna go to my repo. And I'm immediately gonna see how I can search this repo for this particular commit. And I can see all the files that were involved in this commit. Okay. Well, for good reason, I want to have your trace now because this is more information that I really want. Maybe there's more than one S3 bucket. Maybe there's more than one EC2 instance, etc. Let's go back to our console and let's grab our unique your trace. And that should give us a slightly narrower result. Okay, there we go. Ah, now we have exactly what we expected, an EC2 instance. And we have traced it all the way back to the particular commit and file. Right here on line 30, I can see it all matching up. So this is just a one quick example of what we could do with your to enable an automated tag and trace of our infrastructure as code. Hope you enjoyed this introductory video. Once again, my name's Steve Jaguer. I'm a developer advocate. Sign up to the YouTube channel, watch more of our videos. We've got a whole lot more coming. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.